Hi guys, welcome back to the Kratos Nutrition YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna to be talking to you all about the CrossFit Open 2021. For those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Mike Catris and I'm the owner of Kratos Nutrition. I'm also the head coach of the athlete program. And in the last two years, I've taken 10 of my athletes to the CrossFit Games. We've also had over 50 sanctionals appearances in the last two seasons. So if you're wondering why I might be qualified to help you with this, look no further. So as we know, Dave Castro and the CrossFit Games have released a kit list that you're gonna to need to compete uh, in the 2021 Open if you are not doing the uh, gear free version. That kit list comprises of a barbell and weights, a jump rope, a box, a pull up station, and a dumbbell. So what does that tell us about the Open? Well, firstly, we know that we're not gonna see a few things that we have seen over the years. Rowing, wall balls, and ring muscle ups are not gonna be in this year's Open. We could also argue that we're possibly not going to see handstand push-ups, handstand walking, or any form of lunge or measure, measured carry. I'm basing this on the fact that when they released a kit list for the stage one of the CrossFit Games, they mentioned that you needed a measuring tape uh, and a wall for handstand push-ups. So if you're lucky enough to have access to all of this equipment, you know that you can compete in the open at home, in your garage, or in your local affiliate. But I know that most of us aren't that lucky at the moment. It being locked down here in the UK, a lot of us haven't got access to all of that equipment. So what we're gonna talk about today is how to best prepare for the Open with limited or no equipment. Assuming that you're gonna be able to get to this equipment for the Open itself, and that things are gonna be going back to relatively normal uh, by the time the Open comes around in the middle of March, what can you do now to give yourself the best possible opportunity to perform well in the Open? Firstly, I would focus on what you do have rather than what you don't have. So, I'd imagine that most of us have got access to a skipping rope. Treat this as an opportunity to make double unders one of your biggest possible strengths. You've got seven or eight weeks now to really hone in on double unders. If they're already a strength, you can just make them stronger. You know that they're gonna be coming up, otherwise they wouldn't have mentioned uh, a jump rope. So it's a good opportunity for you now to make those a rest within the workout. Best ways to do that for me, if you are good at double unders, are things like intervals. Double under Tabata is one of my favorites. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off for eight rounds. Trying to get as many reps as possible in total and add reps every time you complete that workout. If you've got access to a dumbbell, that should be enough. It doesn't specify that you need a pair of dumbbells, it just says a dumbbell. So I'm imagining that we're only gonna see a single dumbbell variation of movements. Things like alternating dumbbell snatches, dumbbell hang clean and jerks, dumbbell devil's press, burpees over dumbbell, and potentially some form of dumbbell squat as well. If you've got access to, those, uh, to that piece of kit, then I would hammer all of those movements and use it as much as possible. You know it's gonna be coming up in one way, shape or form, so make yourself familiar with that weight. The normal weights that we would see would be 22 and a half kilos for the guys and 15 kilos for the ladies. But don't worry if yours is a little bit heavier or a little bit lighter, it's just good practice for you to use that implement as much as possible. Next on my list would be a box. Now I know lots of us might not have access to a standard CrossFit game style plyo box, 30, 20 and 24 inches. But what you should have access to is either a chair, uh, a stack of plates, something that you can make a platform out of. Just because you haven't got a box, it doesn't mean that you can't practice some movements that are gonna come up. As I said earlier, I don't think there's gonna be any sort of lunging, which has been in the open for the last couple of years now, over a bit of distance. So what I think they might replace that with is a box step up or platform step up. So it's a really good time for you to practice those. Again, you could use a dumbbell for this if you've got access to that. You can use body weight. If you haven't got access to any weight, but you've got something like a weighted vest, then it could be a good opportunity for you to use that as well. Get yourself good at box jumps and burpee box jumps and burpee box jump overs. These are probably the most likely movements that we're gonna see coming up involving a box. The last two pieces of kit are probably the ones that most of you haven't got any access to and that would be a barbell with weights and a pull-up station. Let's start with the pull-up station and what we think that means for the program. With a pull-up station, movements that we've seen over the years would be chest to bar pull-ups, toes to bar, and bar muscle-ups. I can't see them putting in any strict movements here just because I think it's gonna to be too hard to judge. So I'd imagine we're gonna be looking at those three variants, potentially a normal pull-up um, or a jumping pull-up for a scaled version. So what can we do if we haven't got access to a pull-up bar? Something like a bent over row is gonna help us a lot 
with our pull-ups and our pulling strength. Grab yourself a towel, you can hang it over a banister and we can do towel pull-ups. You can put a towel through your door frame and do towel pull-up that way as well. Any sort of resisted movement or banded pull-up, uh, banded pulls is gonna help you improve that strength. The best thing to help us with our toes to bar would be something like dragonflies, V-ups, sit-ups, leg raises. We can use a lot of different varieties here to help us. Yeah, it's not gonna be the exact same thing as a toes to bar, but at least you're gonna get some sort of stimulus that's gonna help you not lose too much along the way. Final piece of kit would be a barbell and weights. Obviously they haven't specified how much weight we're gonna need, that we might see that when the rule book comes out. I would be surprised if we see anything other than uh, 61 and 40 kilos for the guys and girls as a standard weight. And obviously sometimes we'll see 42 and a half and 30 kilos for things like thrusters and lighter barbell movements. I can't imagine that they're gonna expect people to have bigger number of weights and small change plates to do something like a one rep max here. So they're probably gonna differentiate with higher reps. Movements that we've seen in past opens would involve thrusters, cleans, deadlifts, snatches, front squats and overhead squats. And we might actually see the return of a shoulder to overhead here if they aren't gonna be doing any sort of handstand pushup. Obviously, if you've got access to all of this kit, as I said earlier, you can hammer all of these movements and you don't need to focus too much on your ring muscle-ups, on your wall balls and on your rowing. I wouldn't let that go too far by the wayside because it's obviously important for our progression, but you don't need to focus on it for the next couple of weeks if the open is your goal. If you haven't got access to a barbell, obviously we can use the dumbbell that we spoke about earlier if you've got access to that, and you can do a lot of the similar movements there. You can do thrusters. If you've got a pair of dumbbells, even better. You can do cleans, you can do snatches, and all of that's gonna help you when it comes to moving a barbell as well. I guess the simplest thing to say is to make the most out of the stuff that you have got and not worry about what you haven't. If there's a way that you can use some equipment to get the best style of training, then do that. Don't worry about not having access to a barbell if you have got access to dumbbells, because you're gonna see a good benefit from that. Don't worry if you haven't got access to a box, but you can make do with uh, a bench or something similar. Now that we've looked at the kit and the different movements that we might be seeing, let's have a look at the modalities that we're gonna be focusing on during the open. We know that the first stage of the open is only gonna be three weeks long. That doesn't necessarily mean there's only gonna be three workouts, but I can't see there being too many more. You might see a part A and a part B in one or two of those workouts. Historically, open workouts have lived in that sort of range between five and 15 minutes with a couple a little bit longer and very infrequently going shorter than that. So that's where you should be focusing most of your time in training. Living in that 10 to 12 minute range of intense workouts is gonna help you get used to that feeling that you're gonna get during the open. I also really like doing interval pieces for slightly longer, something like 20 minutes of 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, with really hard efforts for those 30 seconds is a really good way of carrying over that fitness and helping you getting used to that intensity. Getting creative with the programming as well. We know that CrossFit likes couplets and likes triplets. So any of those movements that we've looked at here, you can couple them or triple them together with a monostructural, something like uh, double unders, a gymnastic movement, something like burpees, toes to bar, chest to bar, uh, and a weightlifting movement using a dumbbell or a barbell. If you could couple those three movements together, working for 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, or 60 seconds on, 30 seconds off, with each of those movements for a few rounds through, then you're gonna get a really good feeling and understanding of the sort of thing you're gonna be going through during the open. So in summary guys, what I would do is make the most of the kit that you've got, but most importantly, make it hurt. The open is all about intensity, so you wanna make sure you're working really hard in that seven to 15 minute time frame. And if you run out of ideas, remember, you can always do a ton of burpees. No, God! No, God, please, no, no! 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 And don't worry guys, we're gonna be here to help you along the way, all the way through the Open. We're gonna review every single workout with strategies, hints, tips, and warm-ups. Look no further than us for all of your needs during the CrossFit Open. As always guys, if you found this useful, please like, share, and subscribe. Take care.